What's going on guys? Got a little quick how-to video for y'all today. This is something that when I first got my gator tail, I really struggled with. I wanted to get out here and I wanted to baby this thing. You know, it was a brand new boat. And it took me several trips out to some of the worst places that you can imagine to learn how to really drive this boat and use it to its potential. So here it is right here. I got the gator tail Savage series loaded down right now with the gator tail GTR XD 40. That thing is an absolute beast. And I'm not just saying that. It really is. It is a great, great setup. Um, but if you don't know how to drive it, you don't know how to get out of these conditions, you're going to have a really hard time no matter what setup you have, unless you have an airboat. And most of us can't afford an airboat. So, you know, this thing's awesome, but you got to know how to use it. So today I'm going to show you all how to use it. I got five tips for you on how to get up on plane, and uh, how to get out of the worst stuff that you could possibly imagine. We're gonna show y'all what we're in right now. This stuff is as bad as it gets in Kentucky. I'm telling you, I haven't ever seen anything as bad. Um, we're out here, we're, we're wading through this stuff. We just got done picking up our decoys, soaked in sweat. We are wading through mud. It's up to our knees, a lot of seaweed, and it is full of logs. Cole man's gonna show you right now. He's up on a log, you can see, and as soon as he steps off of it, I mean, he's drops way down god dang boy <laughs> that's some rough stuff i mean it's bad walk through there cole man just show them what we got i mean it's bad it's about six inches of water and the rest of it's mud it is hard to get a boat out of this really hard i'm gonna show y'all how to do it Tip number one, I think the most important thing when it comes to getting up and out of this stuff is distributing your weight correctly in the boat. Tip number two, you're gonna wanna find a hole. Find the deepest spot that you can possibly find and that's where you're gonna wanna start out from. You wanna build up as much speed as you possibly can before you hit the bad stuff. If you get that bad boy up on plane, nothing is gonna stop you, I'm telling you, nothing is. Me and Aaron one time, we was out in Arkansas, and we went up this four-wheeler trail out in the flood of timber, and we was in about six inches of water on this thing. And uh, we didn't we didn't stop until we was about 300 yards out this thing. We was trying to get to the river and scout, see if we could find some ducks. But we didn't make it to the river. I hit the edge of that four-wheeler trail, and it slowed us down. And we realized what I was actually going through. I mean, I swear to you, I was not even in six inches of water. This thing will go through anything, but you got to be moving before it will. So uh, find you a hole. If you have to make a hole, you can throw this thing in reverse, make you a hole. Just make sure there's not a log there, because if you hit a log in reverse, it, it, it can tear some stuff up, and it can hurt you pretty bad, too. Whew. It'll hit you hard if you ain't watching out. So stand away from the tiller handle there. You've got to put it in reverse and uh, make yourself a hole. Yeah. yeah that's all I am. See? Yeah. That's, that's, that's the hole. We have found the hole. And this is where we're going to start out from. Uh, we should be able to get up on plane really easily here. But I'm telling you guys, I don't want to go through it right now. But I've tried it several times without getting in a hole. And then I get stuck. And then we got to get out and we got to push it. 
and I get stuck, we got to get out and we got to push it. It ain't nothing against the boat. It ain't nothing against the motor. This stuff's just so bad, you really need to be moving before you hit it. Alright guys, tip number three. Before I even start right here, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm about to do. So I've got my boat motor, I have my gator tail inside a hole right now. I'm going to trim this thing down as low as she'll go. Alright, so when I start, I have the most possible uh, thrust coming off that propeller. Um, and you know into that mud and then the water and everything else and as I get going and I start building up speed I'm gonna want to start trimming that up slowly like that until I get up on a good plane and I'm start throwing a good rooster tail you want the rooster tail to be a, about six foot tall so if you stand up you look behind you unless your hearsay's height it should be about as high as you are <laughs> tip number four Try to plan your path before you even go. If you're leaving the spot, you got in there easily, you're having a hard time getting out, try to get in your boat path that you came in on. And last but not least, guys, when in doubt, throttle her out. Just let her eat. So we have, uh, we have her weight distributed correctly. Uh, we, got all, we got the same amount of weight on each side of the boat. And uh, Steve here, he's sitting in the middle, and I'm sitting back here in the back to control the motor. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna take a second trip to pick up Will and Cole, just so that we can get up on plane quicker. We also, we found us a good hole here. Uh, in relation to the rest of the stuff here, it's, uh, it's about double the depth of everything else. We've also pre-planned our path. We know where we're going. Uh, and as you take off, Start to trim that motor up. Start it low, start to trim it up, and then give it everything she's got, baby. All right, let's go. You need to be wearing a life jacket. I know a lot of people don't, but you need to. You also need to be wearing your kill switch. You need to wear a waiter belt, too. In case you do fall in, your waders won't fill up with water as quick. Keep that thing tight on your wrist, too. All right. Turn your hat around backwards. Alright, so we shouldn't have any trouble getting up on plane this time. It's 
Me, Cole, and Will. Turn around. And see you, Will. All right. <laughs> We shouldn't have no problem getting up on plane this time. I'm going to show you how much this bad boy can eat. We got out, didn't have a problem at all. Like I said, it's a little bit tougher when I had all the boat loaded down and me and Steve both in there. But uh, we hopped up on plane eventually. And with uh, Cole and Will in there, we hopped right up. And then once we're up, we're rocking and rolling, baby. We're getting out of there. I try to give y'all the best tips I can. That's uh, some of the things that I didn't know when I first started off. It's really hard to hurt these things. And it's best just to be going as hard as you can go when you hit that stuff. Um, I really appreciate y'all watching today, guys. If you don't, uh, if you hadn't heard already, slide over to hunterswholesale.net, and uh, you can take five percent off your order over there, guys, with uh, our discount code Quack Addicts, all caps. And uh, we're just trying to help you guys out as much as we can, give y'all tips, and you know, save you a little bit of money. I know I spend a whole lot of money when duck season comes in. About Time you to go broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about to go broke. <laughs> but. Uh, Yep, that's going to be it, y'all. Uh, slide over to Instagram. Check us out. we got an Instagram. we got a Facebook. Uh, all the links are down in the comments below, or down in the description below. Appreciate y'all watching, guys. I'll see y'all on the next one. Hey, by the way, y'all, I appreciate y'all helping with this video. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here.